Welcome and thank you for joining us. If you are joining us for the very first time, please do well to tap on the subscription button so you'll be getting more updates coming right from this channel. And our prayer has been that as many that has been supporting us in this channel, may God Almighty continually bless you. And we say Amen to that. My fellow country people, Nigerian military once again plot to disrupt May 29th swearing in inauguration. The military authorities said that its officials were on standby to foretell any unwanted happenings in the country before, during, and after the handover. The defense headquarters Abuja on Thursday warned Nigerians, especially politicians, who might be planning to disrupt the inauguration of the president-elect Bola Tinubu on May 29th to shovel their plans. The military authorities, meanwhile, said that its officials we are on standby to foretell any unwanted happenings in the country before, during, and after the handover. The director of defense media operations, Major General Musa Damadami, gave the warning while finding questions from journalists shortly after the bi weekly press briefing. Damadami said that the military had not seen why Tinubu's inauguration would not hold. Meanwhile, the military spokesperson said that as far as internal security is concerned, the police still remain the lead agency. The armed forces and other security operatives are only playing a supposititive role. I will, they said, retreat that we are on standby to make sure that nothing unwanted happens. On today's, the issues of threats to the security and, and the stability of the country is addressed promptly. Elections have come and gone. For the presidential election, a winner has been announced. On today's, there is a transition committee in place comprising all members of the security agencies, ministries and agencies of government to make sure the event is held successfully and without a clinch. We, they said, don't see reasons why there should be a problem during the activity. The inauguration will definitely come and go and nothing, he said, will happen. We are not going to relent at ensuring that there is peace and stability across the length and breadth of the country. All right, my fellow Nigerians, Adama Dami, who also reacted to issues of security in Southern Kaduna, urged residents of the state to disassociate the military from any form of sentiment, saying that the military is always ready to help and that any matter reported to the high command against any of his personnel will thoroughly, he said, be investigated. He said that whether we like it or not, sentiment will always come up, particularly when things are not favorable to your disposition, as it is normal in the military. When such allegations are arised, a board of inquiry will be raised to investigate the allegations. And whether the outcome and recommendations, they will be made to those commanders and it will be done accordingly. All right, my fellow Nigerians, it has been that uh, a lot of people are saying, hmm, this coming inauguration, we will make sure that Nigeria take back their mandate, their stolen mandate, so to say. And now, what they said, that the military are, are very in the very alert to make sure that there is peace and tranquility and nothing but to inaugurate Bolame Tunubu and nobody will stop it. Well, feel free to send your take right in the comment section on this basis. Meanwhile, Cardinal Nayin Khan says that he is still waiting for the court to tell him who won the election. Well, according to the news published today by channels, television, newspapers, online, the previous Catholic Archbishop of the Abuja Diocese, Cardinal John Cardinal Onayenka has provided his thought on the recently completed presidential election. The outspoken pastor 
asserted on channel television that he was still expecting word from the court regarding the outcomes of the just concluded presidential election. Asuwa Jubola Metinobu of the All Progressive Congress was named the election's winner earlier by the Independent National Electoral Commission, of course, INEC, to win the presidency of the country. Peter Obi, a former governor of Lagos, uh, governor and the presidential candidate for All Progressive Congress, defeated Rabiu Kwankwaso, a former governor of Anambra State, Peter Obi, of the Labour Party, Alahaji Atikwa Bobaka, and Peter Obi, of the People's Democratic Party. Okay, a lot of Nigerians are really saying that the election result announced by the electoral empire were allegedly rigged in the Aswajubola Metinobu's favor. According to former Anambra State Governor Peter Obi of the Labour Party and former Vice President of Nigeria, Atikuwa Bobaka, the toss uh, brought a lawsuit to contest the results of the presidential election. According to John, Cardinal Onayikan, who responded to the petitions submitted by the opposition parties, a proper view of the election system has become imperative because it is unfortunate that the court are taking so long to rule on the 2023 presidency matter. He went on to say, I think I am entitled to take the position that I am still waiting for the court. To tell me who won the election. I think I'm still entitled to take the position that I'm still okay waiting for the court to tell me who won the election. Well, write at the description button, write at the subscription button, write at the comment section. Please send your take. Who do you think that won the election? As we are waiting for the court to say their mandate, I'm still waiting patiently because court is really taking more time. For court to tell me who won the election, Kordina Onyelin Khan. My fellow Nigerians, well, without wasting much of your time, let me have your take right in the comment section. According to the news published today by Channel Television, Kordina Onyelin Khan said that he is still waiting for the court to tell him who won the election. Just as you are waiting patiently for to be properly handed over. Police says this time we are all going to dismatch our men to make sure that his peace and tranquility come 29th May of inauguration of Bola Metinobu. Well, as people and Nigerians are really saying this time it will not go on to work. This is against democracy because their mandate was stolen according to what they say. Well, let me have a take right in the comment section as long as this news is concerned. Well, I will say continue to wait because uh, uh, well, Nigeria has been a place where the truth do not uh, uh, being, uh, not being recognized. We always uh, fight for the unjust. And that is the true talk. And that is the fact. Well, let me have a take right in the comment section. Remember to subscribe for more updates. Thank you and God bless you.